Good day to you all. Hope you all are doing well. I am D. Stewie D. Soul, owner of D. Soul Photo Artistry. I'm going to do something different. I don't know how this is going to go, so we're going to, I'm going to just go with the flow with it. I understand nowadays how so many social media websites wants to keep you on their website versus sending you to places outside of the website. So when you put links under your captions and posts, it don't reach as good as it could. So instead of doing that, I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna do a video blog, and today I'm gonna do a blog on what inspires me to do photography. What inspired me to do photography? I'll put the link up in the description if you wanna check out my blog on that. But since you're here, the two things that got me into doing photography was the interest of women's feet at an early age. I know, and everybody thinks it's about booty and breasts. I like everything about a woman's body. I just haven't liked her feet as well. Hey, I was, I'm told that I can give a good foot rub. Anyway, the second thing that got me into photography was hip hop. When my brothers used to buy CDs back in the day when CDs was popular, I used to look at the album covers, you know, look at the credit line, the photography, and you know, and I'm taking it all in as a child, but I never thought it would get me to where I'm at today, as you can see here. convinced me to buy a camera back in the day because they was going out of town, you know, to visit relatives. I was like, eh, okay, $200, and it ain't nothing. You know, I work at Walmart, I get a discount at the time. So brought a little camera. Next thing I know, before the selfie age, I started picking up the camera, started taking selfies. And can do foot photography from some of the foot sites and some of the foot photographers they used to do it back in the day, as you can see here. Anyway, what really got me into photography was 10 years ago, there was a local artist around here named Phoenix. Her mother invited me out to do a little photo shoot for the music video for Am I Feeling Myself? And you might see some of that photography here. I never thought that somehow me looking at those album covers and photography and those CDs back in the day would actually get me into doing a behind the scenes photo shoot of a music video. So from that day forward, I said, hmm, maybe I can do something with this. So from that point forward, I started doing nature photography, boudoir photography, events, portraits. As I was experimenting with trying to develop my style, trying to figure out what lane I need to stick in, I felt like something was off at the time. So I was like, hmm, I need to do something a little different. That's where I started doing BDSM. I ain't gonna post nothing that's gonna get me banned from here. But at the time, I still felt like something was off. I knew that doing that type of work, I felt kind of chained and limited to my full potential. So 
it, towards the end of 2018, I was like, you know what? I think I need to put an end to this because I think I have a greater purpose that I need to fulfill. Now, I will say I've done one wedding plus the reception and one reception. So since they're not really my thing, I'm gonna leave that where it's at. Too stressful for me. So I started focusing on doing series like black women that's 40 years and over, doing people of color. And I started realizing, hmm, there's something about that old school film cinematic look that I like. So, looking at different people like Andrew Thomas Clifton. Creative Silence, which is known as Chris Charles today. to hip hop photography, to BDSM, to nature, portraits, boudoir, events. I can honestly say today as a photo artist, I would not trade that journey for nothing because it's my journey, it's nobody else's. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you like them, I'll continue to do more of them more often. Like I said, if you wanna check out the vlog I did, the link is gonna be on the description on my profile. I hope you enjoy. Take it easy. There are two things. <laughs> what got me into photography? I'll say two things. Let me go look more real quick. <laughs> Yeah, interesting, I know. I froze up. <laughs> what can I say? I'm just a humble guy. Anywho, I will say this though. Even at that time, me doing that work, trying to figure out my style, I felt like something's different. Damn, I'm still saying different. Of course, I'm gonna keep it safe. I'm not gonna post nothing that's not safe for work. work. <laughs> Art, me also being in the women's feet, I started to, at the, as I got of age, of course, I started, I got a camera. 
it's like a point shoot camera. You know, my mother brought, you know, my mother, ah, we're gonna do that again. If you like this vlog, I'll continue to do them over time. I hope you, I hope you continue. Yeah. <laughs>